Hi guys. How is everybody? I've just finished this journal, which is autumn woodland themed um, junk journal. As you can see it's quite chunky and on the back I've had it had it added this fabric um, like dangle I used to do them on my old journals and it's only every now and again when I'll declutter some of my like cut off fabrics and stuff so the whole journal itself is covered in Tim Holtz fabric, which is one of my favourite fabrics. I bought it from Black Sheet Wool, near where I live, uh, and I bought a big off cut, and it's absolutely gorgeous. And I just love the fact that it's got the robin on it, and then obviously in the fabric charm I've added some off cuts of this fabric so I'll just take this off as you can see um, I've left the original fabric which is obviously Tim Holtz and this tree was on the cover that like ended up on the front cover of my journal and I was just like, yeah, that would be perfect that to, to design the cover. So obviously we've got the tree. And then we've got this real wooden twig. Um, I think it was last year I did a secret garden journal for a customer. And I had quite a lot of bits left over, so I've used a real twig. And then I've done some sewing just to hold it in place. And then on the side bits and top, I've got some bits of broken bark, which I've just put together, then added some real moss. So that's all real and no trees was harmed in the making of this journal. But that was just like what I had left over. And then of course, some autumn leaves, different types of fabrics, and I've just let it all look a bit little, little bit messy. And then this lovely acorn charm, as you can see. And then the top is quite cool, which um, when I was planning this journal out, I didn't want to add like loads of fabrics, what I normally do to my journals. I wanted to kind of have the autumn colours somewhere incorporated with it so I've just used lots of um, different fabrics I've used some of the leaves as you can see on certain parts of the journal to give it the autumn effect uh, I've got a mushroom charm a leaf charm and this lovely charm which is like a twig with some leaves on it. So we'll get straight in and obviously before we start, this can easily be taken off. It's just one of those rings. A lot of people use them when they're making a certain journal and these are the binders. And I've had these for absolutely ages and I just thought I'll kind of use it. And then we've got a leaf charm there, I've just noticed. So we'll get straight in. So um, the fabric on the journal is Tim Holtz. And then each signature, everyone who knows Tim Holtz, I've used the cardstock from Tim, one of Tim Holtz's is, um, packs. And of course, you can't do a woodland kind of themed journal without the lovely Edith Holdings work. So a lot of her work, um, off cuts and pages are in here as well as Tim Holtz. I've done a lot of collage work and things like that. So 
so go straight in and then we've got this belly band fabric pocket and this um lovely little booklet oh and i forgot to say i've only used one printable kit which was absolutely gorgeous this kit what i used and it's from um i have wrote it down this time trooks craft table that is the name of the shop and it was really really cheap and for what you got for your money you got quite a lot <clears throat> you got all the journal papers you got lots of journaling cards lots of top pockets and i think it might have been on sale but it wasn't that expensive in the first place so i've used a lot of that digital kit in this journal and i just think it's lovely the kits so i've just used some off cuts of scraps just to make little booklets and of course we've got um the edith holding at the pages that i used in out of edith holding's book i kind of flipped to august september october time because that's kind of the the peak season should we say of october so that's the only images that i use i didn't want to use any summer times obviously this is a pocket no a letter envelope uh, is it called a letter envelope when you get um, post through the mail and obviously you use the windows to so you can see top pockets it's the first time I've ever made these and I've, there's three in this journal and I absolutely enjoyed making um, these I've just covered them in um, leftover botanical things and obviously can't see from here but there is two hidden top pockets there's the front one and then there's the back one as well so as you can see in this little pocket I've got a journaling card there and then another one at the back I hope people can see my lighting in my um, under my stairs is like pretty bad A bit of stenciling, which is leaves, and um, this little journaling card. I've there's a few journaling cards in this journal. There's a few, well, no, there's quite a lot of pages, and I just went on a mad one because the weather's been like really lovely. So I went outside and I was spraying all my papers, like all these green colours, different types of um, different types of green colours. Use like some distress spray and things like that and they, they turned out pretty cool and um, then I've done some a bit of inking on some and then this page just flips open and then obviously we've got all these on some of the pages as you can see there so that's for the top effect some little dinky journaling cards little mushroom and some stamping and image of a fox top pocket with some journaling cards these are out of the the kit as well and this I just added a bit more ink on and just some paper cut out just because it was a bit pale and I wanted it a bit brighter and with a little miniature booklet this was gifted to me in a happy in, ha in a happy mail swap from one of my friends um francis a bit more collaging and then we've got a, a page out of a really old encyclopedia and then if you can see the bit of greens in the pages again a bit collagen I love these pages they're so lovely and then some more journaling cards I did tell a lie there's two of these in this journal and I forgot the name but I only used these two from a different kit so there's only that two of them 
and some more collage, you know, a bit of cheesecloth and some leftover fabric and I've just added like a leaf on. Again, you can see the colours in the paper. Another one of those tags at the top. And then just some random scraps. And then again, tuck pockets. I'm not going to pull them all out. Everybody knows by now what tuck pockets are and journaling cards and things. And then in the centre of the page, pachow, we have this um, gorgeous image, which pretty does, which pretty does remind me of autumn because of the conkers falling off the trees and things like that. So that's a lovely picture. I've done my best to leave certain pages blank because I do like to fill my journals and then I've added off cuts of Tim Holtz um, cardstock and I've used some stickers and then I did make a mistake and I only noticed it um, when I'd sewn the signatures in that this page is upside down so we have a mushroom um growing upside down of the journal <laughs> you can't really tell and then don't worry these some of these pages are supposed to be raped just to give a bit of effect and you can just see the shimmer there from one of the distressed sprays that i've been using a bit of ruffle going on and a little leaf dangle charm there's lots of leftover um, of these dangles throughout the journal I like to keep them on um, it just gives it a bit more of a messy look but you know you're welcome to cut them off whoever receives this journal this was supposed to be a belly band from the kit but I printed it a bit too small so I just thought what a shame um, to waste it so I kind of used it with the rest of my off cuts scraps of paper so that's ideal to just journal on there and then we've got another collage what I've made more of ED folding and this is just I've just added some scraps in there like a miniature booklet and then just some more journaling cards And then a couple, I've done a couple of these. These were out of um, a tree and shrub book. And I just thought this wouldn't mix well with this journal. And then this is just some of the um, papers, what I was doing the other day to journal on the back of. I've sewn that on. <coughs> and lovely mushrooms. And this is a good page for sticking something here. Um, I don't know, like a, I could put a photograph there and a photograph at the back. Or you could stick a piece of paper there if you want to add more journaling paper. So that's the end of the first signature. This is the second. Uh, this bag is just some leftover bits and pieces that I hadn't used. So the person who receives this journal can just and play around with them and then we've got this large envelope which again this is from the kit there's nothing in it because it is quite chunky already this um, journal these pockets were from the kit as well This is one of my favourite pages. I love the owl. And then again, this is another one of those envelope letter pocket things. And then you can just see a little owl. I'm not sure. 
<laughs> my um, Alexa's just started talking for no apparent reason. <laughs> it made me jump. Um, so yeah, there's a little owl uh, peeking out at the side of the window. And then I'm just having this little collage with different scraps of fabric that I've had with just some mushrooms. Um, and if I remember rightly, try and get into it. If I can. So there's a journaling card there. And then by accident, while I was making um, these letter pocket, whatever they are, I was folding the envelope and to make it small to fit on the page. And then as I did it, I realised there was another opening and I was like, oh yeah, that can um, be another pocket. So as you can see, we have another pocket. And then again, this is from all the different sprays that I used and then just done some stenciling. I've got a bit of sorry silk on there. And then this lifts up and then We've got some leftover scraps. So this is like a little miniature booklet there. And then at the bottom here, I've made like a pocket with some bits and pieces. And these are stuck in. <laughs> oh. There we go. Stuck on the glue a bit. Put that behind there. Just because the glue's um glossy um you no know, what's it called? Mod Podge and it's shiny. So that's a little secret pocket under there. And it just folds out and a bit of washi tape to give interest. And these are off graphics for uh, um, if I'm ever doing like a, a forest or like a woodland themed journal, I always go to and print these off because they're so good for using the stencils on your pages and then obviously put them in, in putting them in the, your journal once you've used them. And this time I've made like a bit of a, a tuck pocket there. Just some scraps of paper and a journaling card. Another one of those pages. It's a little lovely. Another journaling card, sticker. And then this I made into a pocket. This is Edie Folden again. Um, I just loved the forest look. So I just cut around what I wanted to cut around and then made it into a large pocket. And then this comes out and again we have the leaves and then a charm. And then this is out of an Edith Holden book. And it's just got bits of scrap papers in, things like that. And that just sits nicely just there <coughs> some more collaging a large envelope with another um journaling card a little pocket here with just some little bits of ephemera another encyclopedia page this is one of my favourite stamps. Again, I've put some Tim Holtz left over on the edge of the page. And then we've got this gorgeous badger. Um, and I've just backed it onto some paper. centre of a second signature and I've been like stenciling um, obviously the page is like greens and browns and then I didn't think at the time but I made this into an envelope and Edith Folden page and um, I didn't realise at the time but you can't get in <laughs> 
So, to resolve this problem, you could either leave it as it is and then just glue the top there and the top there and then use this bit. If let me just demonstrate. Um, so you could glue here and here and then you could have that as a tuck pocket there. Um, and then make a pocket at the back and then have another pocket. Or you could carefully unplug the stitching and open it up and then you can have like a, a large like a page where you can unfold but yeah i only realized right at the end what i'd done you'll have to excuse my clock it started to um chime another bit of collage here um, some more journaling cards. You're probably thinking, why, why have you got a clock on your on your desk? Well, I was treated to a night before Christmas um, clock, which was in May, and obviously it's been hung up in my front room. I'll show you the clock, um, but. Um, last week it was about two o'clock in the morning and i hear this massive bang and i was lying in bed thinking and i knew straight away oh my god that's my clock so i come downstairs and i don't know how but my clock fell off the wall and there were pieces everywhere and i just sat looking around like thinking oh my god my um parrot wasn't even out his cage so i can't even blame my parrot because my parrot does like to sit on top of it every now and again um it just fell and i don't know how and why so sorry to disturb the whole video this is my clock so all this um, all this has been smashed off which is this is like loads of pieces on my desk um this is now loose <laughs> and then at the bottom there's like two dangly things and i have these and um, that dangle off the bottom her head has come off but my husband managed to glue that back together um so i just need to glue this bit and then just touch it up i was absolutely devastated but it still works and once i've glued things back on and glued um the hands back on as well it will look no different um so this is on my desk with the pieces around i need to get some really strong glue so if anyone has any ideas or good glues out there, please let me know. Comment in the comments below. My husband, bless him, he came in from work the night that I told him what had happened. And he sat at my desk for a good hour or so, two hours, gluing it back because he knew, he knew how um, devastated I was. But he used my textile Fabri-Tac glue, <laughs> bless him. And the things were moving and I said, you know, I'm grateful for what you've done, but it's not like a strong cold glue. This is like a for paper and textiles, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so I so had to buy with that, but that is a reason why my clock's on my desk. Um, I need to get around to gluing that back together. Old encyclopedia page. So yeah, everything has broke. And then um, at the weekend, me and my family and some friends went out to a place near us and I fell in a hole on the floor, plant face first. Wasn't looking where I was going and I went flying and I fell on top of my bag and I've cracked the screen on my camera. <laughs> and this was like all within one week so my camera is now all cracked 
and I can just see the bottom half. So it's not been a very good week. Um, this pulls out. So yeah, that's been my week. Bit of ruffle and this lovely mushroom charm. I love anything to do with mushrooms like that. Cute. A bit more collage here. And then I just added another leaf on the top. Another side pocket with some more journaling cards. Um, I wanted to add these because I thought they were quite cute. It's um, something to do with strawberry garden. So there's that one and then there's another one up there. And then again, a little um, thing there. I just wanted to add them. I just thought they were quite cute. And then just added some random bits and pieces and then again this page is supposed to be like a bit ripped that's the end of a second signature this is the last one and again another one of those pockets and um, bit of collage in little squirrel uh, this way German card. Obviously, you can fit a lot of a lot bigger things in this pocket because it goes all the way up, up there and down there, and then all the way down there. But I just wanted to put it there so you could see the image of the German card, and then again another little tiny top pocket there. Just done some stenciling with them leaves. I was on about what I printed off um, graphic area and then this flips open that way so you've got a bit of journaling to do on there and then that flips up that way so you can journal on that one as well and then you've got a little bit of stamp in there so there could be like secret um secret journaling spots you could put photographs there as well little envelope there's nothing in it and then that just flips that way and you could journal the back of it and then it just flips back i forgot to mention as well anything that's got washi tape on you can easily take the washi tape off like same with that and then um where's it gone these these can be easily taken off but um just a word of warning just be very careful because it might really page a little bit or tear it so just be careful Another collage again with some leaves. More collaging. And German cards. I think all I've done is collage. <laughs> and flips open. And then got some leftover Tim Holtz. So I've used a bit of fabric at the top there this lovely image and then all these really random coloured um, bits of paper and then here's another one of those large pictures that I showed you previously down the journal and obviously I've backed it onto some leftover paper what I've um, inked up and things obviously that can come off you can put that in your journal anywhere. Another journaling card. Call Robin. It just flips open and closes. And journaling cards. And then this is a vintage postcard. And then I made a page into an envelope. Uh, I've not glued it down anything, so you can open it up or you can glue it and then use it. It's got all the different types of um, shapes of the leaves. Quite fitting for the journal.
Let's just oops, open that up. Nicole cut out of some squirrels that I fussy cutted, and there's also some little tiny German cards in there. Chucked away. Another pocket and then a large picture of her and then I've backed it on to some paper. And then this is a little miniature um, tuck um, thing, um, which is, this is a Tim Holtz um, do you know, I don't don't know what they call them. You use a machine to cut them out. And I forgot the name of it. Sizzix or something like that. So this is like a Tim Holtz one. Um, and I've just added little miniature cards inside. They could be taken out and put in the journal. I've sewn on some of this lovely fabric. Oh, little blackbird. And then that is the end of the, uh, the journal. And then I've just got this at the back. This is October. So this will be put up on my Etsy shop when I get a minute. Um, it will be tonight. Um, it might be in an hour or so. But it is and will be up for sale. Um, and I'm sorry for boring you about my clock and my phone. Um, so thank you for watching and goodbye.